Okay, so question five. Give us this matrix, and they say that the determinant of that matrix is minus 15. Gauss gets calculate the determinants of these other matrices and explain your answer. Okay, so let's call that one matrix B, let's call that one C. Well, how is, what is the relationship between B and A? So it looks like row column, column two has been times by two. And uh, looks like maybe we have two, two, three, zero. Yeah, zero, two more. Yeah, it looks like row two and row three have been swapped as well. So that's going to times the determinant by two. This is going to times the determinant by minus one. And then it's going to be that times 15, so it's going to be 30. Okay, so we're going to have, what, so we had two times column two, row two and row three swapped. So we have 2 times minus 1 times minus 15 is all determinant equals 30. Okay, 5.2. Okay, 1, 2, 1, 5, 0, 1, 1, 0. Ooh, is this a transpose? Um, have we transposed A? So, 1, 0, 2, 0, yeah, first column of C is the same as the column, first, column of, first, first, first row of C, same as first column of A. Second row of C, same as second column. Third row, third column. Fourth row, nope, that's different. Okay, so there's some step done before the transpose is taken or after the transpose is taken. So the tra A transpose would be 1, 0, 2, 0, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, minus 1, 3, minus 1, 0, 1. OK, then how do we get from that A transpose to C? Maybe we add row 2 to row 3. You'd get row 2 to row 4. You'd get 5, 0, 1, 3. Yes, OK. So the transpose and then row 4 has row 2 added to it. Okay. Oh, so the transpose will not change the determinant, nor will the other operation, actually. Okay. So we're going to go transpose. Doesn't change anything. And then, what's it? Row 4 plus row 2. Row 4 gets row 2 added to it. Doesn't change things. The old determinant is minus 15, so the new determinant is always is still minus 15. Okay. That's it, yes.